Hello everyone, welcome to the playthrough of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for the PlayStation 4. Slippery climb, great. After, what was it? The high road. Now I get to climb up something slippery. I will say that it's a little weird that, well, I guess not weird, but it would be it would be nice to be able to explain right away what those gems do. Because if you're a brand new player to this game, why is this out here? Is there a purpose for this platform? Nope. Yeah, I jumped too late. But yeah, the, the gems you just start getting right away. And you don't use them immediately, so... As a first-time player, you're going through this whole game not knowing what those gems do. And in the 90s, it's not like you, not like everybody had access to the internet and just had guides. Uh, oh man. Honestly, I don't even remember what the gems do. I speculated, I assumed it would just be more levels, but really, I don't know. <laughs> and in games these days, what passes on as extra or secret unlockables is just game art or, you know, fun facts to read. You know, little galleries that I don't even know how many people have an interest in. They're not bad, it's always interesting to see the concept art, but... That's what really passes on is secret content these days. If you want extra content, it's DLC, which is pay payable content rather than just downloadable content. Because that's not even proper. In some games they have the they have the information already, the data. You just need to give them money to unlock it. I don't know how many games do that overall, but I know that there have been a few at least. Why are these people imprisoned and why are they angry at me? Oh, I thought I was going to make that. I thought I jumped too late. I love that this game was one of the first 3D platformers, at least that I know of. I don't know if there's any other more 3D platformers. Oh! Oh man, I'm all the way at the beginning. I didn't even hit a checkpoint yet. Nope, nope, nope. You know, there, there's a lot of boxes in these games, but or in these levels, but it doesn't feel like it. I guess if you run into a box of five 20 times, that's... That's a hundred right there, so... Running into them ten times, that gives you 50. So, it does make sense, mathematically, but... It just doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like there's 51 boxes here. Or however many it says. This is definitely a software version of Stormy Ascension. Or Stormy Ascent. But I definitely want to try to beat it. I wonder if you get anything for it. Probably not. Beating the level in itself is the reward, right? Besides, it was, wasn't even part of the official release, so... I'm sure there's nothing else to it other than the level itself. Alright, back where I left off. I think? No, this, this is where I left off. Oh, I could have gotten the Wump Fruit. Yeah, I jumped too soon. Uh, 
Ugh. It takes a while for it to, to pop back up. Oh. Oh, I hope you come back. I'm gonna have to wait here a bit. Yep, you come back. That's good. Ugh. Now I gotta wait for the right timing. Oh, it wasn't too long of a wait. Whoa! Oh, what? Alright, take three on this part. Hopefully I'll get that checkpoint soon. Nope. I just messed myself up. Oh, that was ridiculous. I didn't think I would land on top of him. I didn't think I was high enough. So I tried to pull back and I hit the spikes. Well, it worked again. Okay. I should be able to make this without a coup. It sucks to say that he's actually useful. It's good that he's useful, but it just... Uh, it makes me feel like I'm kind of handicapped when I have to get him. Does this happen to anybody else? You die by pitfalls so often, and then you don't get hit by any of the, the enemies. Then all of a sudden, the one time you have a coup, you get hit by the enemies. No! Ugh. Okay, I've got the checkpoint there, which is good, but still. I've already lost way too many lives. No. Uh, nope. Man, these platforms are slippery. I don't think it's because of the rain physics. Whoa. Nope. 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 Ah. At least this is a little more forgiving. How are those connected exactly? I guess it's more of a visual representation of how they're going to move. Okay. Is it a little slow, so I was able to take my time. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Oh, this is going to be a little bizarre. Cool. Nice. All right. I got one of those. Oh, I got two. I wonder if I'll find the third one. I wonder if it's just going to be his levels now, since... I think we're at the end of the level, since we're climbing up this tower. Alright, if I can beat this, I'll get the checkpoint, which will be nice. But this one's definitely going to be a lot harder. Harder. Oh! Ugh. Oh! That extra jump scared me and messed me up. I shouldn't have grabbed him. Because you lose him if you lose him in the bonus area. Okay. Looks like I'm in proximity for that explosion. And that was more of an experiment. I just wanted to see if I was safe there, but that would have been too easy. No. I hesitated because I saw that I didn't hit those boxes.
All right, take... <laughs> oh man, that was bad. was stressful again but I got it finally got there good job crash you're the most resilient individual I will have ever known in my life looks like we're almost done with this level too oh I was chasing after that platform This time. I'm not gonna fall. We're reaching the end this time around. This is the final stretch, isn't it? Yep, it is. Nope. You're not taking me out. I got it, but I died way too often. Which is more than one. Or more than zero. I feel your pain, Crash. I feel your pain and frustration. This is getting interesting. Lights out. Oh, I already know what's coming in this one. Oh, no. It's kind of cool. He's like a little ghost or spirit. Man, don't lose a coup because I don't know how you're going to play this map. Oh, does he dim out after a certain time period? So do you have to rush to the end before... I don't remember this, actually. Ooh, that's pretty frightening. Oh. There's no enemies and it's just going through the dark. The lack of light is your... Oh, no. It's burning time. I don't know how much time I have. I think I'll have enough. Yeah, got plenty. I'm gonna get this first. I like how the enemies fly forward and can still break things, even though they disappear. Oh. Yeah, I'm. You're. You're done. Unless you've memorized all of the pitfalls, you're not... There we go. I kept trying to stop. <laughs> I didn't see it. I kept trying to, to spin, but I kept jumping instead. And I slipped off the cliff. That's what I wanted to do the first time. Whoa! Oh, my lights are done. Hey, I I tried. I went pretty decent without light. Yeah, I hit the the swinging axe, but oh, whew, I thought I wasn't gonna make it this time. Man, hitting anything once just sets you up for death. I guess that's what makes this level harder by default, is that you don't really have a second chance. You do, but it's incredibly handicapped. Oh. Nope, I can still make it. 15? Wow, there's not that many boxes here. Sorry, buddy. Alright, what? I don't I wanna go up there. It's 
problem. I don't know what that is, but I'm really curious. Jaws of Darkness. So, Dark Underwater Cave with piranhas? I do like the lives in the game allow you to keep progressing. They, they give you assistance in your- Whoa! Whoa! In progressing the game. Where in older games, you literally just- You had to get good. Though games were really small, so it's not like you... Ugh, oh, I thought I could make it before I turned back on. It's not like you got punished too severely. It really just gave more time for the game to be played. Having to start over. In games this day and age, they can provide the same amount of hours, actually more without mm, being... I don't want to say too repetitive because games can still get really repetitive in their tasks, but too much of playing the exact same, you know, of replaying the same area or path, I guess, depending on the game, if that makes any sense. Why is that single fruit there? Just wondering what they were trying to signify. Maybe just to go that direction? You know, it said Jaws of... I mean, well... I guess I can't complain too soon. I just started playing. I hadn't gotten that far. But I'm a little confused about the, the Jaws of... Darkness? Maybe Temple of Darkness? Maybe that's a little too dark. Oh, what? Maybe the statues in the background? Their jaws? What's with the electric piano music? Not that I'm complaining, it just... Usually... Ancient ruin... Oh, can I make it? Nope. <laughs> I was... I got too greedy. All right. Ooh, there's a lot of boxes here. All right, we're finally here. Ah, this is the real level that I complete. Oh man. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I got scared about. Ah. Uh, these camera views are rough. Okay. Oh, I guess there's just no point point of no return type thing. Whoa, almost jumped that. The wrong time. A cortex token. Whoa. Oh, and her. Ooh, this place looks crazy. I don't even know where to go. Well, the camera's not following me, so I guess I'm going this way. Just wanted to see if I can go up there, see if there's multiple paths. Nope! Oh my goodness, it was right there! I don't know what that was, but it was right there. That's so, so upsetting and frustrating. Nope. I jumped too... Too soon. Yeah, once you get familiar with the game, you can... You can tell when your jumps are good or bad. I guess they did that deliberately, just to make it where... You had to jump that far out with the camera missing, or being so far away. I don't know why this is here, but let's take a look. Maybe I have enough gems for it. Can I reach over there? Alright. 
Now things are getting interesting. I don't need this, but sure, why not? I might want to just wait it out, just because the speed might... The speed might mess me up. Not too much, just got to be a little bit slower, ironically. There's a lot of these, and I wonder why. Ugh. That lamp was kind of in the way of my... of me measuring my jump. Uh, that's kind of pointless, I guess. Maybe there's something up off-screen that I can't see that I missed out on. I don't know how far I... Oh! I don't know what I skipped back there. Hope it wasn't anything too important. What? Come on, that was cheap. Okay, let's just get over there. <laughs> I think that's one of the few times I actually needed him. I mean, I've used him plenty of times, but man, I just got destroyed by that obstacle. I stood no chance. I timed it completely off. Oh, what's over there? I guess I'll never know. I saw the end over there, though. So I'm pretty close to that. I'm gonna wait. Ah. Cool, I got her. Oh, that was definitely some other direction that I missed out on. Probably don't have what I need to get over there anyway. Ooh, I got wrecked. <laughs> Those got pretty challenging. But I can definitely get them. No problem. Alright. Now this is the hard one. I don't understand. I thought I was jumping the same height. Nope, I didn't get the life, but at least I got the boxes. Yeah, you gotta be quick for that one. I was trying to get the extra life, but yeah, it was too much of a hassle. I jumped too soon. No, oh, I missed a lot of boxes. Resilient marsupial. Hey everyone, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Before you go. Would you be able to do me a favor and give me some feedback below by commenting and rating the video? And if you really like what you see and you want to see more, you could always subscribe. Thanks again, and I hope you guys take care.